So I've got my karma set up to take my first shot of today. I've came somewhere I've never been before and I've been having a look through this woodland and it's really really nice here. I've actually came outside the woodland and found this river and I've just been enjoying this really nice day walking up and down the river and I've seen a hut at the far side of the river. You may just see it in the video but it'll be quite small but you'll see it in my image in just a minute. And by positioning myself correctly I've got a composition that I'm quite pleased with. There's a nice strip of land in the middle of the river and just as the land ends there's a little almost hollowed out section you could see which I think frames the hut at the far side quite nicely. The direction the hut is pointing, the direction of the river bank and the flow of the river all work nicely together. The sky is lovely today, we've got a really nice blue sky with some wonderful stretched out soft white clouds which I really like. And I'm using the polarizer to bring that out. As for the water itself, I've, I've been taking some test shots and I think a one second exposure works really nicely. So I'm using my six stop ND filter to achieve that. And I'm quite happy with this shot. It's a, such a wonderful day to be out. It's not a day I feel I want to, to do any hill walking or anything. So I'm just quite happy to explore a, a fairly level area. And to be honest, I could just sit here watching this scene all day. It really is so nice. We're, we're getting towards the end of the winter. It's coming into spring and it really is quite mild. But I quite like how the clouds are at the moment. So I'm going to take this shot. As I think I said, the sun is off to the left. It's lighting the side of the hut, but it could also potentially come into the front of my lens. I'm going to shield the lens from that. We've got a one second exposure set up. I'll check my histogram. And that's all working really nicely. I really like the look of the water with the white uh, stretches on it. It just gives a feeling of motion, but it's still quite soft as well with the one second exposure. So quite pleased with this image. I think I'll go off and explore and see if I can find anything else I want to capture. So look at this wonderful atmospheric section of the woodland that I've found here. As I've been walking through the woodland, I've noticed scattered here and there these beautiful white flowers. There's not a lot of them, but they're starting to appear here and there as we edge towards spring. So I've really wanted to capture an image of them, but not just the flowers themselves. Because this woodland has got so much atmosphere, I've wanted to include some of that in my image to tell a story. And I think finally I've found some flowers and a nice composition in which I can include them. So if we have a look behind me here, look at this wonderful dead tree. It's forming a really unusual archway. It's got some nice moss on it. And as you take your eyes through the archway, there's also a tree off in the distance which sort of mirrors the shape of this part of the tree. It leans over, it's very similar to this one, and it's got some of the nice vibrant moss on it as well. So I really like the composition. It's been important not to include too much in the composition, I think, just to focus on the key elements. We've got the flowers, the archway, the tree beyond it. And I've included a little part of this tree here that I'm pointing towards, just enough so it looks nice in the frame. If you include too much at that side, I don't think it works so well. So I've set up the composition the way I want. I really like it. I'm really pleased with it. I think it's a shot that's got a lot of atmosphere. The light has been changing as I've been at this particular location. There's been a lot of soft diffused light. So I captured the image in those conditions. Now it's a little bit brighter. You'll see some shadows on the forest floor. 
I may prefer the shot I captured earlier, but I'll capture it in this lighting as well just to see how it looks when I get home. But I'm really pleased with this image. It could potentially be my favourite of the day. I'm not sure if I'll see anything else I want to photograph, but I'm really happy with what I've captured so far. So that's going to be it for my photography for today. I've had a tremendous time, I've really enjoyed myself, it's been such a pleasant day to be out and I've really enjoyed exploring this woodland and river. However, as it gets towards spring you do need to be a little bit more mindful of the lighting conditions. I think in winter we can get quite used to being able to shoot throughout the whole day and the lighting is generally pretty nice. It's still really nice in spring but as you get towards midday on a really bright day like it is today it can be a little bit harsh, a bit more harsh than it is in winter. And that's what I'm finding at the moment, the lighting is no longer ideal. If I waited around for an hour the sun would start to drop in the sky and it would become nice again but I'm quite happy with the two images I've captured for today. So thank you so much for watching, I've had a fantastic time, I'm off to get something to eat and I'll hopefully see you in my next vlog. So that's it for this video but I'm really excited about next week's video. Join me then as I head out in some magical conditions, I give some tips on capturing panoramic images and I capture what could be one of my favourite images.